this week's Bloom Box Co subscription box. We have got a wonderful collection of flowers coming to your front door and we, you're gonna love it. Absolutely love it. Let's take a look at this week's elements. We have got the rugged but fluffy pink ice proteas. Our foliage element this week is the wonderful magnolia. It has a gorgeous chocolate velvet to touch side and a glossy sheeny green side. We have these like little firework, pops of fireworks. We've got the Noreens in either vivid pink or red. We have the status, which have got paper-like qualities and they come in such a gorgeous array of colors in light mauves, deep purples, and also some really lovely pinks. And a quite interesting element this week that we're adding to your boxes are these super different rose hips. They've got gorgeous little seed pods and these are the result of after the roses flowered, this is what's left on the bush. And these are going to add some great structure and some really unique qualities to this week's box. Let's take a look and create some arrangements together. Now that we've looked at each of the elements coming in the box a little closer, let's put it all together and create this week's arrangement. We're going to start with the magnolia foliage. You just need to give the ends a quick trim. Woo! Uh, just like that. If there's any lower leaves that are going to be positioned into the vase but are going to fall below that water level, just um, pinch them off and then crisscross the stems at right angles. Don't worry if you've got magnolia which is heavy on one side and light on the other. Each arrangement will be different and this adds a really unique style to what you're trying to pull together. We're then going to work with the status. Now the status, this gorgeous um, paper-like status, you just need to give the, tr the stems a little trim, just like that. Remove any little brown bits from uh, that have um, gone brown just on those little stem bits by pulling it down, pulling your fingers down the stem, removing any lower leaves. And then what you want to do is just evenly distribute the status amongst the magnolia. With the status, if you have a really nice tall piece like this, try and use it in the middle. That way then you'll end up with a nice symmetrical arrangement. We're next going to work with the rose hips. Now the rose hips are going to add some really lovely architectural elements to your arrangement. They're just going to create little canopies amongst the blooms that will preserve. So a lot of this week's elements will dry and will become everlasting. We're going to now work with the proteas. With the proteas you just need to do a quick trim. You need your muscles for the proteas. And then you're going to pull down and remove any of the leaves, which are just on those lower stems. Protea leaves don't tend to last and they will go brown quite quickly. They oxygenate once they're picked from the tree. So it's best to remove them when you're arranging with them because it's harder to pluck them off once you've finished your design. That's a really good example of what I'm talking about, that little black bit. And then cluster them by giving them a quick twist. 
I want this one to sit a little bit lower, just at the front there, amongst that status. Just on two different angles. Now, last but not least, we're going to position these gorgeous hot pink or red nareens, which are going to create the fireworks amongst this week's box. Give all of the stems a quick trim and then gently feed the nareens just in that top canopy surrounding the other blooms. And remember to give them a little twist as you're feeding them in so that you don't break the stems because they do have quite a fragile little stem to them. With the nareens too, the reason you position them in the top canopy is they would like some room to open. They need a bit of space to open and mature over the week, like that. And there you have it. There's this week's box, Free Spirit. Hope you have fun, enjoy. If you've got any questions, please reach out via any of our channels. And yeah, more than happy to help. Can't wait to see also what you've created and um, yeah, send us through some pictures. Have a great week. Bye.